So today we will try to understand how to read the values from a data table. Assuming that this is the Excel that we have and we have few values in it. If we want to read the values of this Excel in UiPath, let's see how to do that. So this is how I have built a workflow and here what I'm doing is I have taken Excel application scope to read the Excel file that we have and once that once we do that by passing few values necessary to it the workbook file path and then we are using read range so read range is the activity in UI path through which we can read the Excel and here we have mentioned the sheet and we have left this blank because we want to indicate that it has to read every value available in the Excel and then what we are trying to do is there is an activity called for each row this is something that will help us with reading the values from the data table so this is the data table we have passed and it is a variable it's a value which will contain every row available in this particular data table right so let's look at the f one way of doing it to get the values from it we have a get row item activity already available in UiPath this is the get row item activity and the inputs that it will take is the column name and which row and the value from that so this particular thing we can pass directly to this similarly we are trying to get the other column of it see here we have name and ID so those are the two values that we are trying to fetch so this was one way and the other way we can directly use this particular row item extended with the column name to get the value so it's just a message box and we have only this value and if uh, see there is a difference between this there's an inbuilt UI path activity and this is something that you are directly using some code over here and way 3 instead of passing a column name you can directly mention the column index because the index starts from 0 I have taken 0 okay which will be given to the row item and it will give us the particular value so those were the three ways through which you can try to fetch the items from the data row